Welcome to MIT SDE. I'm here to introduce you to the MIT SDE eLibrary dashboard and to explain on how to access your eLibrary portal. You can start by entering the login credentials as I am displaying over here. After logging in, you will see the options for generating tickets and a callback request. To generate a ticket, you can simply click over here. Your reg ID is your registration ID, your name, the query in detail, and below you can click this generate option for submitting the ticket. Once the ticket is resolved, you need to rate or give the feedback on that particular ticket to generate another ticket. You can find this callback request option to request a callback from your support team. We will connect with you within 24 to 48 working hours with our extreme support. You would also have this additional option on the top right corner as callback request. You can view the tickets once you have generated over here. Below, you can watch a video on how to fill the exam form by simply scrolling down. The global navigation can be found on the left hand side. The first option that we see is the help request with the two options as generate a request and a video on how to raise a ticket. The second option we have is the project guidelines which offers us uh, six choices. The first option we see is the project guidelines. The second option we see is the project submission. You can simply type your project name, select the semester for which you are submitting your project, choose your file from the attachment and click on submit. The third option that you see is Pay Project Fees. You will find this payment gateway to process your project evaluation charges. The fourth option that you see is the Dummy Project. You can check this Dummy Project along with your original project to look for the sequence and the format. You also have this download exemption certificate which can be used instead of your company certificate. Kindly make a note, once you submit with your project work, look for the attachment with the attached project report. If not, kindly get in touch with our support team on the callback request. The sixth option that you see over here is how to submit your project report. This is a small video on it. The third option you see is a book dispatch status. You can track your details over here. The fourth option is your results would be displayed or published under this progress report tab. Kindly note, for exam related queries, you can contact on this below numbers during your examination cycle.
the fifth tab that you see is the placement support the placement support has two options one FAQs the second placement policy for assistance you can read the FAQs for your preference for registering you can download pod.ai app from the Google Play Store for registering yourself the sixth option you have is the e-library you can download your ebook visions of book from the tab once you are finished with the exams a soft copy of mark sheet would be uploaded on the upper left hand side of the page you can now download your id card from this option You'd find this ID card over here. You can also view your program structure on my profile. On to the left, the seventh option that you see is the SWAM Courses tab, which will direct you to the official government website so you may sign in for various courses the eighth option you have is the user manual you can go by the ticket process under the user manual tab and you can read this important note over here in case if your course is expired or course cancellation or if your LMS and canvas is disabled you can reach us through eLibrary by generating a ticket as you log in with your credentials for eLibrary and will never get closed. So there you have it, the tutorial for the eLibrary dashboard. Watch this space for additional videos. Thank you and Happy learning.